Okay, so remember what Empedocles had to say about uh, love and hate, right? These are two forces. They're not the same force, right? It's not love and hate within one thing, right? It's love and hate. These are two opposing forces. And these two forces are somehow equally matched, and all this goes through a cycle of uh, uh, creation and destruction. Uh, and, you know, and Exegora is like, well, come on, you know. That's not very formative, right? And, you know, in the, in the text, right, it says that uh, Anaxagoras thought it was too metaphorical. <laughs> well, you, you know, instead of just appealing to two forces, right, Anaxagoras uh, reduces down to one. He says it's not love and hate that causes the uh, construction and destruction, the composition, de decomposition of these things. It's one force. It's mind. And this is real familiar to us since we all have a mind, right? We know what it is to have a mind and to even create using our minds. So he reduced, so in his eyes, he's reduced the number of forces down from two to just one, right? Not love and hate, but just mind. Now, Anaxagoras wouldn't have been familiar with this phrase. Uh, you know, it's called Occam's Razor. Occam you know, lived several, many centuries <laughs> after Anaxagoras. Uh, and you might have heard uh, the phrase Occam's Razor before, but the idea is this. If, you know, given equal explanatory value between two competing theories, given equal explanatory value, the simpler theory, or the one that supposes the fewest number, you know, the fewest kinds of things that exist, that one's more rational or to be preferred, was the phrase. So, you know, Anaxagoras is saying this, look, I can explain how all of this is composed and decomposed using just one force as opposed to two. So this theory is better. So we've got forces, but Anaxagoras says there's still more to improve upon. Right? Empedocles has four kinds of particles, earth, wind, fire, and water. It's not just disco anymore. Right? Um, and uh, uh, Anaxagoras says, yeah, okay, that, 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 that's good. But he's going to push it even further. Right? So remember what he says. He, he, yeah, technically there's like many, 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 many different kinds of particles, but the particles, the kinds exist kind of on two spectrums. Right? You've got the heavy the moist, the dark particles, and then you've got the light, the airy, the dry particles. And the particles exist on kind of this, this spectrum, and it's through this process of this vortex right, that the particles are separated. So if you've ever seen a centrifuge do its work, you know, the, the, you know, the vials of plasma are spinning, and the different, you know, the, the uh, substances of different densities, they separate out from each other. Well, Anaxagoras has the same thing of mine. Right? So instead of four kinds of particles, earth, wind, fire, and water, he now he's just got two broadly kind particles. He simplified things down on this spectrum. He got the light, the airy, the dry particles, and the heavy, the moist, and the dark particles. Right? So down from four kinds of particles to two. Right? So, he, so Anaxagoras thinks he's improving because he's reduced the number of forces from two down to one and the number of kinds of particles from four down to two.